So let's uh, go a step further here. You uh, said the word playbooks, you know, at the beginning of this conversation. Um, let's talk a little bit about what that what is what what that is. Yeah, uh, we have dozens of playbooks uh, today. I think we're we're getting right around our thirtieth playbook that we've written, and we continue to create them every day. Uh, the very first playbooks were purely our automation. So everything that our Chasm engine does is a playbook. So port scanning, for example, is a playbook. Uh, even surprisingly, UDP uh, port scanning. UDP is so different than TCP that that's a playbook itself. Uh, identifying an operating system. There's dozens of different uh, means of doing that. Different services have different uh, uh, things that they might disclose that help us do that. So operating system identification is a playbook. But we've got plenty of playbooks as well that are uh, more of a mix of automation and you know, human pen tester effort. Uh, one of my favorites to talk about is password spraying. Uh, password spraying is kind of the opposite of brooding or trying to guess a user's password in that uh, if I have a list of potential usernames, I'm trying one password like if it was today, I'd probably try spring 2021 with a, a pound or an exclamation point, And I would spray that across all of a company's users. So password spraying uh, generally isn't a, a, a terribly dangerous activity, but if anything went wrong in your automation and you hit your same list like two or three times in a row, now you've locked out every user's account potentially in that business. And that does get pretty dangerous. So there's a playbook now called Password Spraying that's a mix of using a couple well-known tools, but a human's always sitting there clicking the, the go button and monitoring because we can't have something like that go wrong and, and cause our clients issues. Okay, so you, I heard the word human in there. So um, my is it safe to say there is a mix of technology and human interaction in the Chasm uh, engine? You know, the Chasm engine itself is the automation, but the continuous pen testing service that we, we overlay and include with that Chasm engine is uh, very much a, a mix of uh, automation, orchestration, and then that human component. Uh, my pen testers love it that I call them human all the time because it, it does reassure them that, that they're still human. but. Uh, that, that component is essential. Uh, there are, I think I said this earlier, there's tools and things out there like, you know, Metasploit Professional, things that uh, try to automate the pen testing process. But uh, it, it's no different. I, I make surgeon analogies all the time with pen testers, but you can put a, a tray full of all the best tools in front of a surgeon and a patient on a table, and you, you're probably not going to expect a great outcome. Uh, you put all those same tools out there in front of a, a you know, a, even a good qualified IT person that isn't a pen tester, and you get that same result. So, uh, you know, good tooling with uh, A plus talent is the, the secret to a continuous penetration testing solution. 